hawk position. No observer near that, so he's going to just put down a, a pylon and a cannon to pick that off instead. Cursor's going to come in. Oh, doesn't lose a single one. But still, Jadong getting control on this map on this match. Definitely doing a great job of that. Finally, going to be able to pick off that Zerg and pick off this pick up this new base at the inside six o'clock position instead of going for that four o'clock. Uh, the lot, two routes that you could actually attack from to that six o'clock position, but Cal kind of trying to take that for himself. Defaller man didn't even spot the hive already. Defaller man on the way for Jainong off these four bases. He's gonna be able to stick with that fairly well. Hasn't really had much economic damage done to him at all. Same could be said for Cal, but still he lost a lot just when that whole his entire move got spotted. He would have been able to do so much more damage. He's gonna go for another drop. There's gonna be two reavers in there. Might hit be high temple. Most likely gonna be two reavers. Shadow gonna be forced back. And I don't think it's shallow. Okay, one high templar. Is he gonna get storm off? Oh my god, getting a lot of those drones. Unfortunately, drones were all grouped up in one position. Nice storm in there for Cal. So it was a storm drop. And also keeping his high templar alive to in that all. Nice little attack, just trying to hold back the economy of Jadongs, but really, that just picking off drones, not going to be overall too much, not going to be enough. He's going to need more, he's going to be able to need, need to do army damage, needs to pick off a base. He manages to deny that, tw that 1230, that's going to be a significant amount of damage. Make sure that Jadong does not pick up the double gas at the upper right hand for himself, or else he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Still, Cal has a lot of Corsairs out there trying to open up as a position for that shuttle to come in. Uh, and meanwhile, just some of those crochets is going to get shot at and picked off. But Cal has the right idea, trying to do some damage. And I think actually that 1230 is the position to do that. There's not that many minerals, so a lot of those drones are kind of grouped up. So if you're going to go for a drop, that's the position to go for a drop. High Templar, just one storm, that's going to be a lot. Ooh, one storm picking off a lot of those Zerglings. Storm's just going to hold back those forces. A lot of Zerglings out there for Jadong, a lot of them. Gonna go for another drop this time, dropping inside the natural yet again, getting it one storm off. Well, only two kills this time, unfortunately. Losing his shuttle in the process, not the best drop. Could have actually pulled back and uh, tried to do that another day. Even a drop on the main would have been better for him. Instead of dropping that natural, I think the main significantly more open and a lot more in open position. Cal actually gonna expand here at the lower left hand position. Jadong all over this with some Zerglings. That inside six meanwhile on the open. Zerglings is gonna come in here surround that. Hello! Meal time! All the can uh, canceling everything. The pylon also gonna go down. So Cal being a little bit ambitious with no troops close enough to defend that. That's just gonna go down. But the release is trying to hold Jadong back. Trying to do a little bit of economic damage. Losing some high Templars and shuttles in that. Not really the idea. Not really what you should be going for, but now Jadong, just lair tech units and defilers supporting, and that's going to make those Dragoons completely worthless against those lurkers. The Reavers inside of that Shadows Dark Storm going to come off. Reavers so necessary alongside High Temple. Reaver out in the open, going to get picked up before he even gets a Scarab off. Two Observers going to go down as well. So nice push here from Jadong, doing a hell of a lot of damage there. And that little left in position was cleared up. Cal gonna try to expand meanwhile to this four o'clock. That's not gonna happen. Hydra's all over this with that just still that burrowed zergling at that position, spotting everything out. Cal gonna be forced back a little bit here. A lot, a lot of druids here at the front, one Zer one uh, reaver at the back, storming on top of these dark swarms and not quite managed to do enough damage. Way too heavy on the Dragoons, this army, and the shuttle almost dead at this point, so you gotta be careful with that. Might try to go for another suicide drop somewhere. But the release Cal does have three bases up and running. So that's what's keeping him in this game. But now Jadong has the upper right hand being picked up. Cal going to try to go for some suicide attack. But those, those Hydras there, really, that is just not something you want to go for. Already Hydra shooting at those Corsairs. Has to be very careful. Hydra's all over the place. Just a couple of shots on that. Shuttle going to try to go for it here. Going to pass by. Few more Hydras on the right side. No, the shuttle goes down. Oh man, tried to take a little bit of a detour there instead of flying the shuttle straight up. And meanwhile, now the left side, natural going to be open. 1DT going to go down. Is what's going to see whether he drops something inside of the main as well. Is it going to be a high Templar? What is it going to be? Nothing being dropped. Okay, a couple of DTs. Three DTs going to take down that sunk and the drone's going to be forced back. So Cal trying to harass all over the place. No overwards that I can spot. Hydra's going to come in here. Actually, no, yeah, okay, there we go. There's the overward coming from the back. No, Hydra's there to pick off that overward. Uh, I mean, no Corsair's coming in here. Final coming in, going to try to pick off that overward. So those DT's going to be more effective. Overward going to go down. So DT's going to have to be forced back in the position. All those Corsair's going to go down. Kel trying to be harassing, trying to do the damage, but just not managing to, despite weapons to be upgrades on his ground forces. Hydra's already at 2-2. Full-on upgrades. Jadong just managed all over the place, picking up their upper right-hand position. That double gas going to be... 
If Cal does nothing to ex if Cal does not manage to pick up additional expansion, does not manage to deny that upper right hand, that's going to be a na final nail in the coffin him for him because all of his harassments do very minimal damage compared to the investment that he puts in him, losing shuttles, losing DTs. That's a lot of gas and minerals that you're just losing and not doing nearly enough to justify losing them like that. So he's finally going to go for attack here at the upper right hand. I think he has enough troops to at least take down that hatchery and deny that for a little while. But Jadong has massive amounts of army and Cal doesn't really have much. Meanwhile, he, that upper right hand position, this is going to be a death trap. Has a few high Templar here at the front. Wasting one storm on not too much. Has DT. They're trying to force back, but Jadong has just a massive army pre presence now, at the north side of the map. He can just throw out forces as he wants just to rip apart what Cal has because if Cal loses this ball that he has, that's going to be it. He's not going to be able to replenish his troops fast enough. Jadong, meanwhile, has managed to resaturate everything. Beautiful plague on top of observers. Oh, man. Dragoons. That's just going to catch everything. Luckily, no. Oh, man. Just those observers. Also critical factor, man. Defiler doing a great job. He's got a second play catch. Even Zealot's in there. Defiler is going to lose its life, but still. Cal managing to uh, deny that upper right hand yet again, but I just think he's going to be pincered in at this point. Going to have to make a last stand type of thing. He has a few Zealots, a few Dragoons. A lot of his for half of his forces play. Going to have some storms, but really he's just going to get boxed in. So his other location is just going to be open for the slaughter, open for the taking. That 4 o'clock position has been picked up, so at the very least Cal has something there, but that's going to get attacked at this point. Doesn't have a nexus down there yet and has no mining. They're going to try to move to the left side. Another plague on his frontal forces. They're just going to get ripped into. Darkstorm going to come off, making those uh, Dragoons kind of, well, worthless. Losing most of his forces here, all of his forces here at the forecock position. Has one Dragoon coming here from the back. Has a High Templar and some Reavers in there as well to defend. But just think Cal's all over the map. Not quite sure how much he's going to be able to do with this because Jadon has enough forces to force everything back. He's not going to be able to pick off this 4 o'clock base and deny it for Cal. Cal with a nice storm and some of those Rogans just streaming in. Second storm going to come off as well. So he's keeping this alive. But only three Zealots in there and a couple of storms. A couple, couple of high tempos is not going to be enough. Holy mackerel, where the hell did all those workers come from? Coming from the south side, burrowing in, and that's going to be the end of the entire troop. And, oh, man, Cal, not much at all in the way of army. Has ZT out there picking up some Zergians before they, they spot that they're dying. If that does happen, actually, this lower left hand position, Cal desperate. If he manages to pick up this lower left hand, get the double, da get that double, ugh, double gas going and defend it. Actually, yeah, this DT is gonna get every single one of these zerglings. Damn, Jaden just not paying attention to that. Gonna clear up this entire lower left hand position, but also trying to support himself at that four. Cal is just in a horrible position here. Mining only on the inside six and barely just starting to mine at the four o'clock position. Still trying to deny some economy. Still trying to do a little bit of damage all over the place. Du dual High Templar drop. Not too many drones. Jadong just right on top of that. Going for the main would have been, I uh, believe, actually a little bit more effective. They're still mining there. Jadong also has that uh, inside 9 o'clock position for himself. And he's almost fully upgraded all of his army. Still picking up the upper right hand for himself. And just Jadong looks completely unstoppable in this one. Still has four mining bases. Picking up the sixth. Cal has two mining bases. Trying to also work on his own upgrades, shields and armor, because he does have full weapons upgrades. But that 6 o'clock position, really out in the open, just has a shuttle for just desperate, trying to get a little bit of a damage done somewhere. Going to spot this new base here at the inside night. Reaver going to come down. It's not really that much mining going on here, though, so that Reaver not going to be able to do too much damage. Scourge! Oh, no, 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 shuttle! Almost dead. Thankfully, speed just barely might save it. There are no cannons at the lower left hand, or else that would have been the location to fly to. But no Corsairs! The Scourge might actually catch this shuttle! Barely managed to run to the safety of a cannon. <laughs> Archon's out there as well at this point, and with all those workers and Zerglings out in the field, decent choice. But I just don't think that Cal can support him, support an army at this point. It would take a miracle to get to really win this game at this point. He's not in the worst of positions. I've seen Protoss be in worse positions, but he's still pretty bad because Jadong can just replenish, 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 replenish. He's gonna try to go for an attack here at this nine. Archons at the front. Some nice storms on those high temp on those hydras. I mean, but just not enough. Not enough at all. Bunch of high temple here, storming over everything but just not enough to try to break through that and try to do the damage that he needs to do. Uh, just desperately try to keep him to himself, trying to pick up that old left hand, which actually has forces all over it yet again, so he's not going to be able to do that. 
and just would be deadly to expand at this point. And Jadong, with such a strong economy that he can go for ultras, it's going to have him upgraded, going to have a massive ultra army, and against ultras, you need some serious Archon. You need some serious amounts of Archons. You need a serious amounts of Reavers. Well, another Reaver is just going to get caught in the open before it gets saved. Now the natural is going to be threatened, and I really don't think that Jadong really needs to go for that. Just go for that 4, for that 6. Pick off one of Cal's mining bases. That's going to be it. Cal losing everything most of his troops and now the natural is just going to get broken into he has barely a few zealots and dragoons coming in trying to save it but i think there's just no way this front's going to get broken dark swarm is going to come off so cal jadong instead of trying to pick off with economy and maybe you know let the game last for a little bit longer he's just going to try to go for a break pick off the natural expansion and go straight into the main pick off everything there and uh, yeah just Dominance. I was hoping both these guys would bring their A game, but Cal, unfortunately, just from the start, getting scouted, not meant to do the damage he was hoping to get done, and allowing Jadong way too much freedom with his bases, while not quite managing to do the damage that he would have wanted this entire time. Now he's going to hit, probably get Dark Swarm right on top of his gateways, and when you have a Dark Swarm on top of his gateways, and Hydras, Zerglings, and Lurkers outside of that's going to be it. You can see Jadong just swarming all over the place. Troops at the 6 o'clock, troops at the natural, troops all over the place. Jadong's economy is so strong, and even before we see Ultralisks in the game, there is a GG. So Cal, despite a nice performance, despite a great game 2 for him, not managing. And Jadong, the favorite, going to move out here. So no upset in this one. Cal definitely looking disappointed with himself, thinking what went wrong. I had a game plan, I had an idea, I know what I wanted to do. But allowing Jadong to, you know, have an idea of what you're trying to do is just not the way to win it. You need to deny that, try to do that, but it just didn't work for him. Unfortunate. So instead of him managing to catch Jadong with his pants down a second time, but going for something a little bit different. Instead, two guys, they're fighting over a t-shirt. Instead of that happening, yeah. He just spots that and lays down a, a trap for Jadong. Beautiful play here for him. So, yeah. That's what happens this time. KJ, I'm going to move on to the quarterfinals. GG, guys. Wrenching that. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy it. Going to bring you more stuff soon enough.